Gavin Dipshit is at it again. Um, I know he feels emboldened because of the failed recall effort. Considering what continues to happen and every new thing that continues to get implemented, this is why I say that I am never going to be knocking anyone that stays and fights, but I certainly won't knock you if you get the fuck out, get closer to your allies, and live to fight another day because that place is a failed fucking state. News just broke. News some orders COVID vaccines for it is covered by LA Times eligible students. The first K through 12 school mandate in the nation. So, again, when we discuss decentralization, this is what we're talking about and the problems with it. One guy can dictate what millions upon millions of people have to be able to do with just because he's just in that position. And the first of such action in the nation, Governor, Governor Gavin Newsom issued a mandate Friday requiring all eligible public and private school children in California to be vaccinated Against COVID-19, a policy the state expects to affect millions of students. So these fools are talking about mandating the shit for your children, no matter what school you go to, public school or private school. The fact that there is a person that has that much power is why the shit is, it shouldn't exist. The mandate would take effect for grades 7 through 12, the semester following the U.S. FDA, a full approval of the vaccine for children ages 12 and over, according to the governor's office. Students in kindergarten through sixth grade will be phased in after the vaccine is formally approved for younger children. So right now, it seems to only apply to people from this age. Then we're talking seventh through 12th grade, and then we're talking fucking all of you. K through 12. The mandate could take effect for students 12 and older as early as January 2022 if there's a full federal approval for COVID-19 for that age group. What is it right now? I think it's 16 and up, if I'm not mistaken. The governor said in remarks, there's still a struggle to get where we need to be, and that means we need to do more, and we need to do better. Oh, God. Like, look, I'm just going to be honest with you guys, and I'm going to say something that's, like, really blunt, and I know you guys don't understand this. Uh, but yo, 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 beloved founders went to war for a lot less than what the fuck these people are doing to you and your fucking children. Y'all need to come over. I mean, y'all can call it the dark side, but y'all need to get on fucking over. I've been trying to give y'all the blueprint of resolution. We tried it y'all's fucking way. It's not working. This whole trust this in, in, in this institution of a bunch of pedophiles, asshats, and evil sons of bitches, right? That want to rule over you. You want to trust in that so bad and you so scared of China. We can't break it up because China, China will come and get you. Meanwhile, your own fucking governor in your own damn state and your own goddamn country is mandating that your kids get a fucking jab in order to attend their indoctrination camp. Or even if you outside the indoctrination camp, they want you to get it. And you so fucking worried about China. I'm so sick of these goddamn chicken shit ass Republicans. So anytime someone talks about decentralization, they always oh, we're you uh, divided. We fall China. This is what they want. Your own people in your own geographical area are using more aggression on you than fucking China, man. China, China, China. It's all you ever talk about. Whose economic power is largely overstated in the first fucking place. But why does one have to accept being abused for the sake of another abuser potentially maybe possibly getting involved it's fucking stupid think mark think we need decentralization and we need decentralization now even for the sake of california i would argue for example if the federal government was completely dissolved that would be good for california and the people that value liberty that still want to fight you know why because they don't have to worry about the fucking federal government anymore it's easier for them to focus on the state of California than it is to focus on the fucking federal government. But they got aggressors going fucking both ways. This is why I say it's momentous, just because let's say Texas seceded from the from the union, if you will. Let's say if that happened, that doesn't mean we fucking stop there, man. This we're crossing into very evil territory, man. And it gets progressively, for lack of better, well, better terms, worse. 
And because a lot of y'all are too chicken shit, you know who I blame? And I talked about, I've talked about this before. You heard me say this uh, on the news and why it matters many times. You know who I blame? I blame you chicken shit Republicans because all you do is fucking ensure the fucking power structure of these deranged leftists. That's all you ever do. That's all you ever do. Anytime someone gets in the way and try to uh, try to uh, uh, like take the position of liberty, you undercut them. You throw them under the bus. You did it with Ron Paul. You did it with Rand, and then you got back on Rand's side, and then you got jumped off it. You did it with Amash. Your beloved Donald Trump did it with Massey. It's like anybody that advocates fucking liberty gets they get in the way of what you want to advocate. It's almost like you on the side of the leftists. Maybe it's because you are. I don't know. Because anytime someone tries to take the liberty position, you best believe it's some chicken shit Republican with a goddamn eye patch getting in the way. Every time. Getting in the way. Well, we can't, we can't, we can't do that. We're better than that. We can't do that. All you do is, is ensure the power structure of these leftists. That's all you've ever done. We move... Closer and closer to state socialism and the Republicans don't do nothing but get in the way of the guys that know what it what needs to be done in order to get us the fuck out of this. Every time, man, and we I keep having to cover these stories and it's frustrating because I've given you the blueprint. Libertarians like myself have given you the blueprint. But anytime we give it to you, you say because you too chicken shit. Well, that's not realistic. Well, we can't do that. That's not realistic. Well, that'll have to happen. It'll need to be a war or something like that. Well, that didn't work the last time. What the fuck direction you think we had in here? These motherfuckers trying to force your kids to be jabbed in order to learn some shit. What direction do you think we're heading in? Huh? We're advocating the most peaceful route out of this. You're trying to lead us full steam ahead on a runaway train into a brick fucking wall. Decentralization now. Every time I hear these stories, I'm going to continue to remind you of that decentralization now. And how that happens, in what ways, doesn't even matter. Let's just push forward and get people get this acceptable into the minds of the people. And if you are too chicken shit to even advocate that, get the fuck out the way. That's all I ask. Get out the way. If you too scared, get out the way. They trying to inject your kids. We, This is the line. The hill worth dying on. How about you get out the way? If you're too chicken shit, just move. Leave it to us. But we need to plant these seeds of decentralization. How it happens, who knows? Maybe the federal government gets dissolved. Maybe all 50 states become nation states. Maybe fucking the country breaks up in fucking five. I don't know. But we take it. Either way, what's happening right now isn't working. You're seeing people be emboldened by the federal government to do dumb shit. Which equals more aggression upon you. We got to get to the real. It may make you uncomfortable. It goes against all the indoctrination in the public schools when you were saying your fucking Pledge of Allegiance. I know it goes against all of that. I get it. Nonetheless, this is what needs to be done because it's going to get crazier because these tyrants have become emboldened. And you know what? It's not going to get better because of what I just said. They control the schools. The next generation of many tyrants, if we don't hurry to fuck up and get this shit broken up to give them less power, the next generation of many tyrants are going to be worth. Have you seen the have you seen the youth vote? Oh, it's fucking scary. The next generation of tyrants could be worse than that. They already got these motherfuckers used. I got I see as an example, went to the mall the other day with the lady. I ain't seen more young people wearing fucking masks. Where you think they got that shit? It ain't because of we got a man, a, a mass mandate. These people are able body and in, in the best shape that they've ever been, been in covering their face. Why do you think that? Where do you think they got that from? The next generation might be worse. Decentralization now. You just watched a clip from my podcast for Ken and Sake. 
Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.